back up. Okay, so I will pause for this point because I will say this, Alchemist. You have a choice on how you can either keep Alfred or let him go. And I'm going to pause again once the choice is presented to you so you can see it. Okay. Because this is going to really get you. You don't have to do it, Bruce. There are other ways of doing good in the world. But you, you pour everything into your bloody crusade. And I know you too well to hope you'll ever change. Okay, so the choice is all you give up give being up Batman me. or you give up Alfred. Oh, that's just cruel. Now, with that being said, I'm going to say there's no longer any point, like there's no other games past this because... Um, no, this is the last choice. Yeah, tell, Telltale, you know, maybe they'll make another one because they all don't, you know, another company picked up the Wolf Among Us. I'm doubtful just because this is owned by Warner Brothers, so... You gotta yeah. buy the rights to that to use it. Um, so, you know, you can make your choice without the feeling of, I'm going to have to play this way in the next game. That being said, you've been playing as you was Batman up to this point. So, you can choose give up Batman or give up um, Alfred. Okay, but you see, that's the thing. That there's basically no repercussions in anything because Tiffany, we said, needed a mentor, but we're not, but, you know, we're never going to see that because there's no other game after this, right? Yeah, that's the down part, but we can imagine. We can at least imagine, or we can try to think what would be best for Gotham. Because I don't think, like this. <laughs> yeah, because think about it this way. If we give up being Batman... I don't know if that also translates to we can't train Tiffany anymore. Because we could technically train... If we can give a Batman but train Tiffany to take our place. She could be a, the next Batman. Wait, will we have to give up Catwoman? Um, well, we'll have to give up... I don't think up, necessarily, but... No, not necessarily. But, I mean, she's not going to be the next Batman. No, it's just... I mean, like, do we not get to see her anymore? Um... I mean, I'm sure we won't you do. Be able I mean, you have her contact info. Just call her. Yeah, we won't be able to see her on rooftops anymore like we would used to. Yeah. Tough call. Now, with that being said, if we keep being Batman, I mean, it, let me put it this way. Currently in the comic book, Alfred's dead. So Batman can survive without an Alfred. Yeah, we all know that. Just it, it, it sucks. Yeah, no, it really does sucks because no one's there to bandage him up, or to give him advice, or to make sure he stay on the right path. Right. He does need that anchor, that um cornerstone that is Alfred. So Arkhamich, this may be just as tough as your choice to be friends with the Joker. I hate this decision. Yeah, you should. I mean, what if you stop being Batman and Poison Ivy show up? Oh, um, jeez, how many, wait, how many rogue galleries are left? Um, we got the Mad Hatter, Killer Croc. Oh, um, enough. I know, I know what I'm going to choose. Lanestrom. We all know what I'm going to choose. Okay, before you make your choice, Zed, what will your call be on this one? It, it's tough, but if I were in Bruce's shoes doing all this, I think I'd have to say to keep being Batman. I wouldn't want to give up Alfred, but at the same time, I also know that Bruce probably couldn't stop. Like, the whole point of, like, Bruce Wayne is that you question which one of his, his identities is the mask. For me, it's always been Bruce Wayne's the mask. Exactly. So it, he can't exactly say, I'm just going to be the mask forever from now on. I, yeah, I, I have I, to agree with that. And I kind of feel the same way because I know even if he said that he would, he would just break that promise. 
Yeah, yeah I mean, he he would go back to it inevitably because he would feel responsible for not doing. Something. I mean, look look at the Dark Knight, um, the yep. a, the comic and anime movie, not the actual movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, let's be honest. Bruce Wayne died the night his parents died. Yeah, oh, yeah. Batman was born that night. Yeah, it, Bruce Wayne has not been. A, I mean, Alfred buried Bruce Wayne a long time ago. Oh yeah. So uh, I mean. It's pretty obvious what my decision is. Batman it sucks. is. Yeah, of course, of course, we're going to get rid of Alfred and keep Batman. We all know that. Uh, I hate the right decision, now. but it's who I am. I will always be Batman, and that will never change. Now I know. Go on. Rubbish goes out on Tuesday, and there's lasagna in the freezer. <laughs> I hope I'm that'll sure last me my whole life. <laughs> I hate lasagna. <laughs> I hope that will last me my whole life, Alfred. I mean, we're a billionaire. I'm pretty sure we can order pizza and get a or hire an executive chef. Tiffany, how good are you at cleaning the floors? <laughs> oh, <laughs> we need a new outfit, Tiffany. Are you gonna Are you gonna dress her in a maid outfit? You know what? Never mind. Do that. Yeah, we know it. This... <laughs> okay. Why am I asking? Do that. Evaluating the choices. Let's see how you ranked up, Archimage. Holly Quinn. You got that look in your eye. You and 15.1% dismissed her important to the agency. So that's, yeah. yeah. Who, who cares? <laughs> Amanda Waller. Thunderbolt. I'm the whole goddamn hurricane. <laughs> You and forty percent remain in a stalemate with her. I think we came out on top. I think yeah. so too. Jim Golden. God, some safety is slipping you out from under me. You and fifty-nine point six percent accepted her his apology. Wait, there were people who didn't accept his apology. What the hell? I guess some people must have been playing some really tough Bruce Wayne. Or some jackasses. Catwoman. I weighed my options and. What you I and point one percent like of players helped to lead. Really? What the hell? Really? Wow. Oh, you know why? Because most people go with Avesta. Because they assume Catwoman can escape. So they oh, go with yeah. Vesta to um, make sure that Waller doesn't use her power to completely bury her. Uh, I guess Even if there. he go work for you, he could bury her um, professionally. That's fair. Tiffany. Tiffany Fox. I won't let you go. You and 80.6% 80, 80. took her under your wing. Well, yeah, I mean, come on. There we go, Avesta. Criminally insane. You and 54, yeah, 54.9 percent told her to work for you. Alfred Pennyworth. Oh, this is wow! More people went with Batman. Yeah. Fifty-four percent of the player told Even Joker to, that you were still your friend. Um, yeah, you and seventy percent <laughs> save Willie <laughs> and not the agency. <laughs> Jeez, people yeah, don't like cops. <laughs> Oh, wow, you and 77% took Tiffany in the field. Yeah, that's right. Nobody handed Joker over. Yeah, what asses handed over to Joker? People doing, uh, second playthroughs. Uh, yep. yep. Oh, 
5.7% just say, yeah, go, the, Alfred. The very first dialogue option you got when it, when there was an option to say, then just leave, that would have made him just leave immediately. Yeah, and I saw that option play out on one of my, um, one of the YouTube channels I watch. They did not like Alfred in this game, so when they got the option for Alfred to leave, they were like, yeah, go, bye, get out. Damn, Damn that's cold. <laughs> it was hilarious watching them, though. Um, most people fought Vigilante Joker. Okay, so to give you background, if you had went the other route and got, um, Villain Joker, what would happen was him and Hollywood jumped off that bridge together and went missing. You still would went after the Joker gang in the beginning. No, you would have been going after the Joker gang. Um, the pack would still show up. Um, Joker, since he knows who you all, would kidnap everyone close to you. So Tiffany, Alfred, Selena, would all and Waller would all get kidnapped and put in the funhouse. That funhouse you went to when you found all the dead agent, you all would be captured, and Joker would like essentially tie you up, put those collars on you. And start making you got making them essentially roast you in like the worst dinner party ever. Damn. And then once you break free, you and Catwoman would fight off Harley and Joker together. Um, Catwoman would stay fighting with um, Harley and subduing her and help helping Tiffany while you would go after the Joker and you would fight him essentially in the same manner. Oh, you mean we wouldn't get to watch the cat fight? Um, you do get to watch the cat fight between Harley Quinn and, um, Catwoman initially. Damn. Maybe I didn't make criticism. So, and <laughs> Villainous Joker is, like, killing everyone, too. Uh, photos kill- <laughs> The selfie return! The Damn, selfies! Stop. They will never- Look at all these selfies! No. So if we had went with them on the heist, we would have been in that last selfie. Oh, yes. We would have taken Catwoman's place. Nice. And there's another part to this, I believe. There is one final scene, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Is this the start of the killing joke? You'll see. <laughs> he still got the selfies! Oh, for God's sake! Visitor for John Doe. Bruce! I like All that right. ending. I really do like that ending. I mean... Yeah. It implies that Bruce is at least trying to help him as a friend. Good. Glad. Because, you know, he was kind of a bro to us. He was a bro. No, Joker was a bro. He was a complete bro until he became the Joker and started stabbing people. Yeah. yeah. Until he became a psychotic murderer, you know, he was actually a pretty bro. I mean, he even let us be alone with Catwoman. Yeah. No, he was a wingman, too, so he... I know, and he didn't cock block us, so. Awesome. Turn to the back cave. I'm curious what the hell that is. Oh! I can look at all the stuff bring now. Your in the back cave. I can look at everything now. Okay, so. That was the penguin. So, okay, so now we can look at everything. We can see Bane's. Wait, we didn't steal Harley Quinn's stupid mallet? Um, let's Hang find on. Out. There we go. There it is. With her belt, okay. too. Don't ask how we got the belt. It better have been when we got her pants. And the Joker. We is it wrong Joker. that I really like Joker's Joker ring? I know, it's a yeah. smile and it's an upside down bat ring. No, it's, it's actually very clever. Okay. okay, so that's what I mean going back to the heart. Okay, so I didn't know you could do that. What else can I do around here? While we're winding down. So, 
final thoughts, comments, things you want to say while we look around the last little bit? I feel like I did the best I could with the joke. You really did. No, you, you got I the best did. possible outcome. You do not want to see Villain Joker. Villain Joker is pretty bad. Villain Joker seems like he'd be a lot worse. Oh, no, he's horrible. Yeah. So I'll go with, you know, I could have done worse. Um, but still, good story. I really enjoyed this game. I can see why people... It's a popular game, I'll take it. Um, yeah, no, this was one that, the, um, this, The Wolf Among Us, The Walking Dead, I think is still number one. Yeah, yeah the, that was like what people knew Telltale for. I think the only other one besides this and Wolf Among Us that I would, that I personally love is, um, the border, Tales from the Borderland. Ah. Uh, uh. I know you guys never played Borderland 1, one and 2. But Tales from the Borderland had a really good story to it. A very good story. I would say it's as good as this one. Like that, but yeah, no, I, this was a good game. Really was. A lot of enjoyment out of it. In fact, may, maybe maybe we should do Bo Tales, Tales from Borderland. Just because, just because I mean, it, does ha it does have a mystery. The mystery of who... Um, the guy is who take you hostage at the beginning of the game. I almost thought you were going to say some pun that related to prostitutes that we were all trying, trying to figure out, but... No, 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 no. It, um, yeah, because the Tales from Borderland it start off with you being taken hostage, and you're retelling the whole story. And the whole time you're, you're having to figure out who the guy is who's taking you hostage. He's clearly someone okay. you met on your adventure... Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't catch any of that. You're the, game, the whole thing went really wonky for a second. Oh, I, I heard nothing. I said the Tales from Borderland, it, the mystery is someone will take you hostage at the b beginning of the game. The whole game, the, fi the five episodes, take place, you know, as just a flashback as you're recalling what's happening. Oh. So uh -huh. the whole time you're trying to figure out who this guy is? Who do you piss off during your adventure? Who could still be around to kidnap you and hold you hostage? An angry husband. Um, possibly. Okay, I was joking. Really? <laughs> I, I'm not going to spoil it if that's what you guys no, want to do. No, it's not, I don't want to spoil it. You know me. I love to try and work out mysteries. So, I mean, if we do Borderland, I guess, like, the opening will be me just explaining all of Borderland history to you. And, oh, my goodness, that's going to be a clusterfuck. Oh, that's going to be fun. But any final comments before we close out our last little thing with the Batcave and Telltale Batman? This was an awesome Batman. I enjoyed it. Oh, that's nice. Same here. It was, uh, it was especially fun for me because I think I had seen only a bit of the beginning of Enemy Within. I had never seen all of it, so it was fun to see all of it, finally. Yeah. And I kind of wish they'd make a Batman movie like this. No, I That'd agree. Cool. This was a good one. Now, all the pieces are there. And I think a vigilante jokey, Joker on the screen, on the big screen, would be a lot of fun. Yeah, but you have I mean, to build up to it the same way this one did. And let's face it, yeah. movies can't. Most people who make movies can't be patient enough to make a good story to lead up to it. Oh yeah, no, I know you're completely right. But it would be so amazing if they did, wouldn't it? DC is too goddamn impatient to make a good lead up to it. Speaking of which, I'll show you guys this when we um stop recording. But there. I don't know if you've seen the Five Nights at Freddy's movie trailer. I have not. How the hell are they making a movie out of this? Oh, That's okay. The game with the weird animatronics, yeah, right? okay. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta I show you guys it. that. I um, haven't seen the trailer for it because. Yeah, I gotta show you that then. So. How the bloody hell do you make a movie out of that? Oh, I, I actually want to see the movie because it's pretty entertaining. I mean, there is a giant story behind the actual games that's being a common narrative, but I. I have no clue what the movie is. Well, here's the killing I've, I've part. Known that, I've known that the movie's been in production for like the last two something, 
three years or whatever. Well, here's the killing part. The game's kind of all based off of a real life event. Well, the first one was at least. It, the now first they're one kind was. of continuing off of each other. Yeah. Well, it's a real life event. Okay, so. Um, it was a real life event at a Chuck E. Cheese where there were five employees in it and one ex employee who was pissed off and uh, just... hid inside of it and murdered all five yeah. of them. Yeah. That sucks. No, oh, it was a big, yeah, it's a big thing. You can look it up on, like, Wikipedia and stuff. Uh, it, like, just guys to show you, now, Chuck E. Cheese's are evil. I've always said that. Well, they mapped it out, like, someone actually mapped out his pathway. Yeah, no, like, his entire pathway for how he did it was fully mapped out. Like, I remember, I think, the first Game Theory video on it went over that, and I saw that, and I was like, yep, that's the path, I guess. Well, so, actually, no, he didn't murder all five of them. One of them survived. No, one did survive. I think he was, like, stabbed or something. He played dead. No, he was shot. It hit him in the jaw, and he just didn't die from it. That was it, yeah. Because I remember he got, like, he got injured, but he essentially didn't die. It was yeah, not Yeah, no, the shot hit his hit. jaw, and he was severely injured, but he didn't die from it. Yeah, I was going to say, that that had to be something where he just pulled out a gun and went, to Saint, went Valentine's Day Massacre on him, right? No, he had a gun. He had a gun, yeah. yes. Say, there's, there's no way he just, like, did a slasher thing and started stabbing him. No, because I mean, five one one guy with a knife and five guys. I, I'm I'm putting my money. Well, on the they board. were all separated. No, they, in different they was parts kind of, of spread the building. out. Yeah, so they were they weren't all in one collective spot. I think the biggest. Then, I think the biggest group was. I think three of them was in the main main um, showroom. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, two of them or three of them were in one specific location. But yeah, I, no, but, but but it's a Chuck E. Cheese. It's it's not like they're that big. I mean, at least not the Chuck E. Cheese I've. But if I, and Zed, you got to um, remind me of that. If I recall, he hid in the suit that was off stage, that was like in storage or something. Oh. The real life story or the game? The real life story, I believe. Oh, no, I think he hid in the bathroom. Was he in the bathroom? Because I remember he was away, essentially. He hid away from somewhere. No, he hid like in a bathroom somewhere, and then once everything closed and the doors were locked, that's when he just came out. Yeah. With a freaking gun, okay. Yeah, no, he de- he had a gun. Yeah, I, I figured he had to have had a gun. I mean, come on, but I mean, only weirdos like us carry knives anymore, so. and would use them over a gun. So we'll, exactly. We'll end this part. Any, any last words before we end it? I want that Batmobile. That is a pretty sweet Batmobile. Oh, I agree. I would want that Batmobile too. My and last. Tiffany- and Tiffany the French maid outfit now, but yeah, you know, no, that, that, well, like, yeah, thank all convention now, you know, that's got to happen. God damn it! I I only got one one closing word. <laughs> that's still uh, the stuff. Yep, that's still the stuff. That that's my closing word on this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, perfect way in. <laughs>